Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, I will be doing a huge grocery haul. So I'll be showing you what I picked up at a few of my favorite supermarkets and big box stores, as well as a kitchen clean with me. So bringing you a little clean of motivation as well. It is also a collab with my good friend Katie here on YouTube, also over on Instagram. Her channel's name is Life with the Love Days. She is a stay-at-home mom. She's also a homeschooling mama of three. She has just the cutest, motivating channel. She does shopping hauls. I love always seeing what she picks up at the grocery store as well as her meal plans. She also shows fun recipes and just everything motherhood. So if you love channels like that, which I know you would, you have to check her out. Her links will be in the description box below. So please go on over to her channel after watching my video. Let's get right into today's video. Okay, what I love to do before I get my groceries delivered or before I even go out to the store to do my grocery shopping, I love to get my refrigerator nice and clean, clean out any old leftovers and just make space for the new fresh groceries to go in the fridge. I like to make sure my counters are clean and everything just so I have a good working space to um, unpack the groceries and put everything away. If you are coming over from Katie's channel, hi and welcome. I am so happy to have you here. I will tell you what you can find on my channel. I do lots of homemaking. I love doing clean with me, bringing you that cleaning motivation as well as laundry motivation. I love decorating for the seasons and holidays, doing grocery hauls anything homemaking. I love decluttering as well and organizing. You can find tons of inspirational, motivational videos like that on my channel. I will leave a few links below in the description box. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Okay, first I will show you my Amazon Fresh. It got delivered, so I just put everything on the table so I can show you what I got. My daughter's birthday is coming up. We're gonna be having two different birthday parties, so some of this food is for that. And then later I'll show you my Costco haul, Trader Joe's, and all that. So first, we have some lemon and limes. We love to make our own lemonade, um, as well as like infused water. Got the Kraft Philadelphia Creamy Melt Triple Cheddar, which I will show you what I'm going to be doing with this. We got this um, package of grass-fed, uncured beef hot dogs, organic, organic red potatoes, a bag of the different color potatoes. I just love the purple potatoes. Try to eat that when I can. Organic mild cheddar. 
We love making our own sushi, so we also want to try making our own spring roll. So we got the spring roll wrappers. I see this a lot on Instagram, and the recipes always look so healthy and yummy, so we're gonna be doing that. We got these plant-based sausages. Can't wait to try those, actually. Then we got the Alexia potato puffs. We usually get their french fries as well, but I wanted to try these potato puffs. They are seasoned with roasted garlic and cracked black pepper. The freschetta pizza, this is always a good one. You know, if you're gonna splurge and have a pizza night, and you don't really have to do much when it's frozen, you just put it in the oven, so that's great. We do like to make our own homemade pizza once in a while. The Siete Almond Flour Wraps, which I just love making wraps for my daughter. She loves that, like with some uh, turkey and cheese and spinach and all that. And then my husband has uh, the actual, like a veggie wrap. I got these Hawaiian rolls. Got two of them because I'm gonna be making sliders, but I didn't get the meat in this order, so I have to pick that up. And I'm gonna be using this cheese with it. Also, I saw this on Instagram, how it's so easy to make these sliders. Just put them in the oven. A bag of pretzels that I'm gonna be using for our charcuterie board. Okay, I guess that is it for the food for this order. And also organic mango lemonade, which we wanna try. As well as making our own lemonade, we also got this as well for one of the parties to fill up in one of the drinking beverage like dispensers that we use. Okay, so this is one of the first grocery hauls. Okay, so let's start on this section first. This is absolutely amazing. I had to open it to try it so I could give my honest opinion because this is the first time we bought it. Um, the Organic Super Smoothie Tropical Blend. It has mango, banana, pineapple, passion fruit, kale, and spinach. It is so good. If you love passion fruit, definitely check this out because that is the overwhelming flavor of this smoothie. So you no, know, I added extra stuff to it like blueberries, even a little bit of almond uh, butter, and I still tasted the passion fruit, which I don't mind because I absolutely love it. So this is a great a deal and a buy at Costco. For more frozen stuff, we got organic super sweet corn. We always get this from Trader Joe's. I love to put this in salads and cold pasta salads, everything. We got a lot of pantry stuff. You will see that the produce is not on this table because I still need to do produce shopping. Okay, so in for the pantry things, we have um, just organic dark red kidney beans. Green split peas, another uh, kidney beans. I'm gonna be putting this into a special storage for the winter, just keeping it not in this bag. It's actually a different kind of bag you can secure it in. If you're gonna try ramen, I recommend this brand. It has organic noodles in it, it's vegan, lemongrass, ginger. It is not super salty like most ramen with their season packets, so this was very good. We always buy this. Organic peanut butter. We give this to a dog as well, just as a little snack in one of her toys, like a chewing toy, and you know, for smoothies and whatever, sandwiches. We have organic a texmati. This rice is very good. Um, what can I say? It's rice. You can make this with anything. I just always love getting a good rice. It, you could just make so many meals with that. I love it with chili and stews and all that. Should I continue with the... Okay, I'll move on. I'll move this way. Ghee. We always buy ghee. You don't even want to know how many <laughs> jars of this ghee we have. We. This is like what we cook with as well as avocado oil. This is very good to cook with. So we always get ghee, French green lentils, really good, pairs really well with the rice, cream of buckwheat, it's good in the morning if you're looking for something warm and filling and hearty and all that. Okay, where is the camera? Let me just see where the camera is pointing up to. Okay, let me move it over a little bit. Package of dates we always get from Costco. Also organic, this is great to bake with, to put in smoothies. 
eat it by itself even as a snack with a little bit of the peanut butter. That's a great snack. Seeds of Change is a great brand. This has brown and red rice with chia and kale. Very quick. I don't have a microwave, but this is microwavable, but you can also put this in a frying pan and just heat it up for about two minutes, two or three minutes with a touch of water, and it makes a really quick side dish. If you don't want to go through like the 20 to 30 minutes to make rice, you can just use this pouch. Coconut water. I've heard some things about this pink one, but I mean, it tastes good and it's organic. I know it's not everything, even if it's organic, it's good for you, but it says 100% juice. It is a little bit more expensive, this brand, but it's really good. We get this as, at Costco as well. Then we have the tricolor quinoa. I just love making quinoa. Everyone in my family loves quinoa. You can eat this cold or hot. And it's really good as a side dish, as a base, you name it. Even in salads, this is very good. We always stock up on sardines, and this is the brand we love because, uh, you know, if you have someone who's a picky eater, but you want to give them something really good that has omegas and like a healthy fat, sardines are good, but you can also get it without the bones and without the skin. Makes it a little bit easier for a child to eat it as well. These are really good. So we got two cases of them. Then we got this Greek God's Greek yogurt. Plain. I always try to get plain because the less sugar the better in my opinion. So we always get the plain one. And Greek yogurt has a lot more protein than regular yogurt. We got the mayonnaise from Trader Joe's. Not, we use this for sandwiches and wraps, but also like some salads. You could use this to mix it in, like a good egg salad or potato salad. For the cans, this is really good. Organic, the brand is Eden, brown rice with green lentils. Really good for a quick meal. You can add this to anything. Again, if you don't want to go through waiting 20 to 30 minutes for rice, you can just heat this up in a pan and it's really good. Some chickpeas for homemade hummus or to throw in salads. Canelli beans for a stew. I love, we all love angel hair because it's just more fun, I think, to eat. If you don't like a thick spaghetti or a fettuccine, angel hair is the way to go. And Barilla, this one has additional protein if you don't eat a lot of meat in your home. Pasta with additional protein is a good choice. This I opened because I just love these. Organic pumpkin seeds with sea salt makes a great snack. You got some chicken broth. So cute how they're so little like that. My daughter lo loves to cook with me sometimes so she can just easily open this herself. She loves making a potato soup and she uses this in her soup which is really cute. This is a great brand, King Arthur. We always get the gluten-free gluten -free classic pancake mix. We, we go through so much of this and we just like store it in the cabinet in a nice OXO uh, container. Classic yellow cake mix. I will be making my daughter's birthday cakes. I will be using this. We also have the muffin mix, which is great any time of the day, but morning is good too. Then these organic dark sweet cherries, perfect for smoothies. Even a snack, especially in the summertime, to just put this in a bowl and just eat it like that is really good to cool off. So that is part two of my haul. I'll just show you an overview. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and kitchen clean with me. Don't forget to check out Katie from Life with the Love Days. Her links will be in the description box below. Please subscribe if you are new and I will see you in my next one.